All right, we are at lesson number four. So in this lesson, we are going to be setting up Airtable. The reason we need to use Airtable is one, it acts as a third party just to store our data, but it's also essential in order to do the mark as complete functionality in the next lesson. Basically, we need a database that tracks every time a mark as complete button is clicked because we need to store which user clicked it and what video that they're clicking it on. So for this, Airtable is the perfect solution. So let's dive in and set it all up. So what I'm gonna do is go to Airtable.com, go ahead and sign up if you aren't already. I'm going to add a base and start from scratch gonna call this uh, no code membership demo let's just make this like pink all right so the first table that we want to do is we want to store uh, the members so let's uh, rename this call this members so what we want to do is have the member name so I'm just gonna rename this to member name we also want their email address email address and then change this to email, click save. And then I also wanna store their item ID from Webflow. So I'm going to customize this field and say uh, member Webflow ID. And uh, that is not an attachment, it's actually gonna be a single line text. Perfect. All right, so let's go back to Zapier. So we want to add one more step to the Zap to add a row to this table in Airtable. So let's go ahead and do Airtable. All right, and the action we want to take is create record. So let's go ahead and continue. Um, be sure to add your account if you haven't already. And then you can be sure to find your API token on the accounts page. Just click this link. Mine's already set up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select my account, click continue. First off, select the base, the one we just created, no code membership demo, and then the table. There's only one table for now, and that's members. And then we want to pass through the information from here into Airtable. So for the member name, I'm just gonna select it from Webflow, first and last, the email address, let's get that from Webflow too, and then the Webflow ID is right here below collection ID and then the Webflow ID. All right, so go ahead and test and review that. So it says it was successful. Let's go check. Not sure why I created these three rows. Let's uh, delete these. All right, so the member name, the email address, and the Webflow member ID are all good to go. All right, so this whole zap is done. So we can go ahead and done. Let's uh, be sure to actually rename all this. So I'm gonna call this new member sign up or no code membership demo, new member sign up. And then we can actually edit these to be more specific. So new member, signs up, um, add member to member collection. This, what we're doing is updating member with Webflow item ID. And then here we are adding to member table in Airtable. All right, click done and then be sure to turn this app on. All right, so now let's go back to Airtable and we're gonna set up a new table as a reference and this is gonna be called completed videos. So this table is to track every time somebody clicks the mark as complete so we can store which member marked which video as watched. So here I wanna store the uh, video name. Video name. I'm gonna do a uh, member name as well. I also want to store the video Webflow ID. And then that's gonna be a single line as well. And then here we want to connect it to this members table. So we're gonna add a reference field. So I'm gonna say member reference. And I'm gonna to link to another record and it's gonna 
be the uh, member here. And we don't want to allow multiple records, so I'm just gonna de deselect that. All right, so this is good to go. In the next lesson, we're gonna set up the Mark as Complete button. So we're gonna add a button to our lessons page, and when somebody clicks that, it's gonna initiate Zapier to look up that member in Airtable add a row to the completed video, and then we're gonna send all that back to Webflow to update the member.